Yeah, the first of all, hi, coach. Thanks for joining us. Hello, it's a pleasure. Yeah, coach. So, coach, I will start. Uh, NAFC had a wonderful start to the season, uh, picking up eight points from four games. But in the last few games, uh, do you think that the momentum has faltered somewhere? You know, uh, the games are not easy. You know? I mean, also the other teams, they will be prepared. In the beginning, uh, they don't prepare seriously to play against us because they think we're very easy. You know I mean, slowly, slowly you become uh, difficult. Then also you cannot make uh, your players always in the top, you know, performance. You need to have some going down, going back, especially when we're building a team, we're building a, a way of play, building a mentality. It's normal. Uh, so, sir, you signed for Northeast in uh, May of 2023. So, so, what attracted you most to this project of Northeast United FC? Well, especially uh, I had uh, two meetings with with John Abraham and with uh, with Mandar, and uh, the way their 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 love for 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 to make something important, you know what I mean? And uh, that's uh, that's the great challenge uh, to go to an easy place, stay in the comfort zone. And uh, we are a competitive people, you know, and, and that, that's a great challenge. That's what we want to do all the time. And uh, Northeast uh, is the best for it in this moment. And this is why I decided. Yeah, so coach, in your last game against BFC, you almost had the win uh, until a uh, injury time winner from uh, uh, leveler from uh, Siva team. And it has happened with Northeast quite a few times that you are in the lead and suddenly you somehow drop the lead. So do you think that the team needs to see out the games a bit better? Uh, you know, that's normal. That's totally normal. Uh, we call it uh, afraid to win, you know, fear of winning. Uh, that's normal, especially when a team is not used to win a lot and and uh, have too much necessity. And also the social media they're making they're making it harder for for the players, you know, to to be uh, pressed and uh, oh we need to win we need to win oh certainly you don't believe you're gonna win no we need just to relax and do whatever we we do best is to play football and and in the same way if you see the game when we scored uh, we stopped being. In Northeast, we just played everywhere. You know what I mean? We need to, to believe in ourselves and stay working the same way. If they score or we score, it's the same work we need to go. And uh, this is the price we pay in, uh, for, for learning, you know? Yes, yeah, so a coach. Uh, Northeast uh, hasn't had the best of defense. Uh, you have considered 17 goals in 11 games. So do you think that defense is a concern for you at this moment? No, well, uh, not the defense. In, in, in it's it's a little bit all the all the team. If you see, uh, if you take out the game of uh, uh, East Bengal and the team of uh, Mohan Bagan, there are eight goals. You know, you stay with nine goals, nine goals in 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 nine games, one goal per per game. Normally, you're champion. If they score against you, one goal or less, and you're always scoring one. Or or one point one, one point two. This is what happened to us. You're champion. You're winning all the games. That's that's the problem uh, till now. That's the two games who who, who really put us down in, in in goals against. You know, uh, East Bengal. I don't even think about it anymore. That game because uh, we we stayed in Guwahati. We didn't go to Kolkata that game. You know, but uh, Mohan Bagan. We, we could we could we could draw. We could draw. Uh, if you see the goals, they are totally uh, one mistake. And uh, well, the team is really performing better, much better every every game. Yes, yeah, so coach. Uh, your next game is against uh, FC Go, of course, uh, which is tomorrow. And uh, they would look to win, of course, because they want to end the uh, table at, uh, fin finish at the top of the table. So, how uh, crucial would this game be for Northeast? In the Northeast, all the games are crucial for it. <laughs> you know, not only Goa, you're playing against a great team, and you're playing against a very well nice team with top quality players, a great coach, you know, who who managed to to put together the individuals, you know what I mean? Uh, very strong individuals put them together. It's really, really difficult, and he, he's doing it. A team who doesn't concede many goals, uh, who has a lot of uh, 
a lot of power on the front. They can score any time, anyhow, set pieces, uh, counter attack, uh, uh, with the uh, play. You know, it's not an easy game for us. It's totally not an easy game, but it's a beautiful challenge. It's a great game, and and. and uh, uh, everybody wants to be in. Uh, this is why I ask all the fans, come and watch it. You know, forget the result. Just come and enjoy and support and push. You know, after the game, just happy new year to everyone, and that's it. You know? So, sir, uh, one of the major signings of Northeast United has been Ibsen Mello. So, can you share his transfer story? Well, Ibsen, uh, we followed him. We we watch. The last uh, season he had, uh, the season before he was the maximum striker in Thailand, has a good, uh, performed everywhere, very, very good. Uh, uh, last season was not very good for him, but he was helping a lot the Thai, and then we had the chance to, to sign him. Uh, <clears throat> the moment we signed him, uh, he was, uh, we give all the trust on him because uh, he's the only striker, foreign striker. We have, but uh, you know, uh, when you have the full team, uh, it's not only the games. You know, you, you see every day what every minute participation, and uh, he's a great player. And we think uh, we put him only the, the 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 time we think it's it's needed. Uh, it didn't go as he wish. It didn't go as we wish. You know what I mean? We need to solve it. So, sir, the squad right now has an average age of 24.8, making it the second youngest in the league. So, how's your experience managing such a young squad? Oh, it's 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 great. You know, uh, they they make me feel younger. You know, it's great. Uh, the, the 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 fighting, the the, the spirit, the, the 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 hunger they have. They push the the veteran players to do also more. You know, this is why people, fans get angry with us because, oh, why you didn't put him before? Well, each one has his time, you know. It's like, for example, say, oh, this player is young, he's very good, where you going to put him? We don't want to burn him, you know. Uh, everyone will have his time, everyone, it's it's right time to play. And uh, today we'll put him in, tomorrow he will not play, we'll wait for another moment. It depends, it depends. And they're giving us that freshness and uh, the present and the future of this club. Yes, yeah, so coach, uh, Northeast has had a history of producing uh, talents uh, since the beginning of the ISL. So, uh, and the latest inclu inclusion to the list is, of course, Parthiv Bogoy and Falguni Singh, who are regarded as the next big thing in Indian football. So, what are your thoughts on both of them? You know, <clears throat> it's not only Parthiv and Falguni. We have Parthiv, we have Falguni, we have uh, Boone, we have uh, Samte, sorry. We have Samte, we have uh, uh, Mac, just come, uh, We have a lot of, of, of young players, you know, Melvier Singh also is, is working hard. Uh, you know, the, 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 the question is not, uh, someone they said to you, oh, yeah, yeah but uh, next year they will go. Our aim, what we all do, what we work for is to try to, those players to stay here. But we need to know who we are. We are a team who's making players, making a big players. And when we see a player playing in Mumbai, or playing the AFC, or playing the national team, even if he's not anymore in Northeast, we are proud because we made it. He's from our area, he's from our region, and we did it. You know, yes, we want to win. Yes, we want to win. We will do. We will win one day. We will work for it. But give the importance to the player who they are here because we don't have more. We have the one who's here. Don't think for the others. Parthiv is doing a great job. He was injured for the last three, four games. You know, this is why he was not participating a lot till the last game. <clears throat> we will see tomorrow if he can go in or not. Uh, Falgon is the same thing. Uh, Falgon is a great player, young player. Uh, he's given a lot. And it depends also of the games. You know, there are some games he can participate because it's for his style, but some games he doesn't, uh, he will not participate because it's not for him. This is the, this is the job of the of the coach. It's the only one coach before the game. After the game, there were 40 or 100 million coaches, you know what I mean? Because it's easy to talk after. But before you need to make a decision, it depends on you and it depends on the other team.
Yes, sir, coach. Uh, one of the greatest talents that uh, Northeast acquired this season was Zabako. And uh, if you remember the game against uh, East Bengal in the Durant semi final, Zabako got a red card and then uh, suddenly somehow like, ended up losing the game. So, how important has his role been in the defense? You know, uh, not only Zabako. You know, when, when we talk about the defense, uh, you're talking about one single player. I talk about full team. If the striker doesn't work, doesn't press, the ball arrives very easy to the other strikers against us. When the, our striker is, is, is working hard, our wings are working hard, our midfield are working hard, they make it easy for Tabaco to, to defend. Tabaco, we know him before to come here. He's a great player, great captain, you know, in the pitch, out of the pitch. Uh, he's given us that confidence, that, that, that uh, experience to the young ones. Also, Ashir is doing a great job. Tondon, Samte, Denish, everyone who comes in, he's doing a great Yasser. Also, when he comes in, he does he does a good job. But Mitchell is is the captain uh, of the defense. He's the captain of the defensive play. And so, coach, at this moment, if you see the middle of the table, it's very clustered because there's only a four point gap between the sixth and the eleventh position. So, how important is it for Northeast not only tomorrow but especially after the league begins again in February to get some wins and get some sort of momentum uh, for qualifying to the next stage? You know, you give me a question before and I, I answer to you and I, it's the same thing what I'm saying. The most important for us is the next game. You know, uh, if you focus on the game, uh, when you finish the season, you find yourself in a good position. When you try to catch many things far away, you will do the mistake. You don't think about the game, next game. We're thinking only about the game. The, 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 the position will be the end of the season. In this moment, the most important for us is the next game is Goa. After will be the next game, the first game uh, when we start again. You know, uh, if we, I think, if in the second part of 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 the 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 league, ISL, if we get around sixteen points in the second part, we are in the playoffs. That's for sure, and we need to work for it. Yes, yeah, so of course, the Super Cup will begin next month and uh, most of the like the top five ISL teams will miss uh, most of the Indian players. And uh, of course, winning the Super Cup gives the AFC spot as well. So how important is the tournament for Northeast? Uh, you know, it's important for all the teams, even if they don't have the best players. You know, some teams, you know, go to Mohan Bagan. Uh, who is important? <laughs> the 26 or 20 or 30 players are important. Mumbai is the same. Uh, you know, uh, is a challenge for 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 the teams like Northeast for us, you know, to 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 see young players, to try something else, to prepare, and uh, if we are lucky, suddenly you're in the final and and you can you can go to Asia. But the question is, are we ready to go to play in Asia? You know, that's a challenge. That's sometimes it's it's not good. Sometimes it's great. Sometimes it's great to play, yeah, to play abroad, uh, but. We're talking to develop our players. We're talking to make the team big. That's the question. Yes, yeah, so coach, um, of course, the January transfer window is upon us almost. And are there any areas of the pitch that you are looking for in the market? Uh, yeah, how you think I'm thinking for the players in the market? Yeah, I mean, are there any areas that you are concerned and you are looking for in the market, like in the transfer market? I prefer to leave it for me, that question. You know what I mean? Uh, it's important that we work, you know, we have good players here. Uh, as usual, uh, we're looking for players, but the problem is it's very difficult in the middle of the season to get a good players because the players were free, you know, they didn't have been not playing. Uh, you don't want to do mistakes bringing somebody uh, who was not playing and uh, uh, he needs to perform the same day he arrives. It's not easy. It's not easy. This is why it's very, very difficult. You know, people get, oh, you need to bring, you need to bring, you need to bring, you need to bring. There are two reasons. There's no players to 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 get better than what we have. You need somebody. If you bring somebody, it must be much better than what you have. And second, we need, you know, uh, poor John Abraham, always asking, we need money to bring, we need money to bring. I want the fan to come and say, hey, this is the money, bring. This is the difficulty. So, sir, you spent a major part of your career in uh, Morocco. So, according to you, what is the no, difference no, between... No, 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 From 25 years, I spent six years in Morocco. 
The other 21 is more than a half. No, so like okay. I'm talking about the, the six years, like it was on a stretch okay. from not wrong. So yeah. uh, what is the major difference in Moroccan football and that of Indian football? History, time. They've been playing for a long time. Is the sport number one on the on the, on on the on the country? It's not cricket, you know. You go to the beach and you find the, in the mornings uh, thousands and thousands and thousands of people playing on the beach. Uh, everywhere you have a small area, people are playing. Children are playing football everywhere. You know, you go to the pitch, I feel the game, and there's forty, sixty thousand people watching. Uh, everybody sharing, everybody pushing. Newspaper, everybody talking only about football. This is how you create a national team. This is how you create uh, big teams. The problem and uh, the, the the coaches, they, they become a little bit braver to get young talents and uh, players from lower divisions to the team. Uh, the problem is when when now you say, okay, I want to bring a player and everybody thinking only about ISL players. Who is the ISL players I can bring? You know, why? Because there is not much down to look at it. In Morocco, it's easy. You know, you just take your car, bike and go outside, have a tour and you'll find thousands and thousands of players playing. And that's important. That's, I think, uh, ISL is working and football association is working and also the regional associations with the clubs like the Northeast with Assam uh, Sport, uh, Guwahati Sports Association and Assam Football and also the other the other states, all Northeast area. We're working for that to create because football is the most important thing in the region more than cricket in this region, Northeast. And this is why we were trying to get young talents to play but uh, Rome is not built in one day. We need time. Ten years is nothing. In football, ten years is absolutely nothing. Uh, sir, you have worked with uh, Stuart Baxter for a season as an assistant manager. So mm -hmm. can you walk us through the experience of working with him? Stuart is a great coach. He's a great manager. You know, we start together working in Visal Kobe uh, till, I think... Uh, uh, oh, no, uh, June. In June, he left and I stayed as a manager of Visa COVID. We took the team uh, from second division to first division. Stuart, what I learned from him a lot, a lot as, as, as a manager, as a person, a great person, you know, uh, motivating his players and with that uh, uh, Swedish Scottish flair, you know, fantastic. It was a great experience. So, according to you, uh, what should be the key areas in which Indian football must focus to achieve success in an international stage? Uh, sabar. Sabar, sabar, sabar. Be patient. You know, uh, you want to be, you want to win uh, Emirates and Qatar and I don't know what. Uh, they've been for a long time spending huge money to arrive, you know. Uh, the most important thing, focus on the young ones making a strong national teams and small strong academies on the on the uh, on the on the teams, uh, you know, making uh, strong leagues between the the young ones teams, you know, uh, not only for example northeast. If uh, we want under fifteen to be strong or under thirteen, we need to make strong the other teams also that they can play against the strong teams to become better. If every team, every time we win 12-0, 8-0, 9-0, when we go to the highest level, we do nothing. It's very important to create strong teams uh, or youth to, to, to with strong competition. They need competition. Player needs to understand the game. And the problem we have here now in India is players don't understand the game. They play football, but they don't understand the game. And the most important is to understand, you know, to take good decisions. This is the problem. The decisions are not good. This is why we're not regular in, in playing. I think this is one of the, the big challenges the national team coach has also, you know. Uh, when you play for national team, you need uh, to have a, to make your player to make a good decisions. And the decisions, you learn it playing football since you're very young. So, how do you feel about the passionate support from the fans during the match? 
which fans like as a whole maybe like the away fans uh, maybe the uh, home fans north northeast fans they're great the one who comes the 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 loyal ones who comes every single time oh i tell you the truth uh, we want to give everything for them uh, the ones who only come when we win i will say to them i'm sorry you're losing the best of it that feeling to be in the field and maybe and maybe and maybe oh no that's amazing feeling we need to see them here not to go to to social media and just talk in social media because he just heard the result you know go and watch the game feel it and and if we don't win push us again and be with us you know and uh, be like oh i love i love kerala uh fans falling up the stadium all yellow you know it doesn't matter the results they've been waiting for a long time you know for me it's all they have all my respect i want not this to be better because we are the land of football in india this is the most important i was talking to the club and i said yeah the problem we have that we play at eight o'clock in the night we finish very late transport is difficult let's look for solutions but come on people come to the stadium and then shout and say we need a solution for oh i want transportation come on move do from yourself come show us that you want you really love your team and then yes sir you have a really like if i'm not wrong 25 years of experience as a manager so are there any interesting uh, stories that you'd like to share from your coaching career my what sorry any interesting stories or anecdotes oh, many we don't finish today i need to go for lunch <laughs> we don't finish no you know many many you know it's it's uh, uh, when uh, with i was with the great people i learned a lot i made a lot of friends football is my life you know uh, people in yeah. last year i didn't know even where is guwahati i never heard about it in my life guwahati and now i i i say i'm going back home and when i say i'm going back home i'm going back to guwahati it's my home now you know and uh, that's people's stories and you know that's the most important thing uh, in football you meet a lot of people thanks god and especially local people because you're working in with with local people and uh, i'm proud to say i have friends all over the world thanks to football you know to say about all the stories it's very difficult one day you know after eight o'clock in the evening we can talk about it but now it's it's quite hard yeah as a coach uh, one last question are there any uh, messages that you want to convey to the northeast fans enjoy Come enjoy, have fun, be with everyone, forget the result. You know, it's like uh, one player make a mistake. We all make mistakes. I make a mistake every day, choosing players sometimes, the wrong player, and making the wrong change. You know, this is the beauty of football. If it was uh, easy, everybody would win in the dressing room. You know, that's the beauty. One wins, one draw, one lose. Come enjoy, have fun. You know, and after it will come, like you say, story. You have a story to to tell your your grandson or your granddaughter. I said one day I was in in the Ragandi Stadium watching Northeast when they were nothing, and now they are the best team in Asia. That's the beauty of it. Participate, be part of the history. Yes, yeah, so of course. Uh, that will be it from us. Had a lovely time with you speaking, and. Uh... Hopefully, you win tomorrow and have a good run with Northeast in the next phase of the tournament. We will do our best. That's promise. Okay, we will yes. do all our best. We're working for it. All the best. Thank you very much for you. Okay. Happy New Year to all Happy. Northeast people and football people in India. All the best. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank Happy you, New Year to you as well. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. Bye, Bye. Coach.